Welcome back to NHS News. Only one more day until the weekend. I'm ready to have the most relaxing weekend ever. Same, but before we get into the news, let's see what's happening in page one. The bill to ban TikTok has passed through the Senate as a foreign aid package to support Israel and Ukraine. After being approved on Saturday, it has now been given to Joe Biden. If Biden signs the bill as largely expected, the app will have the option to either find a new owner or be banned from the states by January 2025. ByteDance, or the owners of TikTok, have 270 days to sell the app or say goodbye to their American viewers. Now let's see what's going on in NHS News. Students, mark it in your calendars. The student government is hosting a carnival from 240 to 320 on April 26, and will providing fun games in the gym. But if you, in order to play, the games will be, you will need to bring canned food items or any preserved food, which gives you 10 tickets. If you are unable or forget a food item, there will be other games provided around the track that you can play. If you are interested, please make a hall pass to Sarah Dossie. Happy Earth Week! The Conservation Club is having themed days to share how you can make a difference in the environment. Check out this video. It's almost an Earth Week, Miller. Today is Thrift Thursday. By thrifting, you reduce the amount of materials needed for manufacturing clothes. Anna prolongs the life of products by giving them a second chance and preventing them from ending up in landfills. Did you know that it takes dozens of gallons of water to produce a single pair of blue jeans? Today is Thrift Thursday and tomorrow is Fresh Air Friday and make sure to find new ways to reuse today. If you are interested in going to Ireland for spring break 2025, then you should attend the virtual information meeting on May 7th at 6.30 p.m. The meeting link has been sent out in the Canvas announcements. Do you want to dance, travel, perform, and compete with one of the best color guard programs in the nation? The NHS Color Guard is holding trials on April 30th from 5 to 9 p.m. Meet at Gate 29 and wear comfortable clothing. Now, let's dance over to trending today. A $1 million lottery ticket discovered by an oblivious winner. In the Oregon Lottery raffle, the winning ticket lived inside of a stored Tupperware container. The woman, Leslie Carr, completely forgot about it until the Powerball company reached out to her and told her to check the ticket. Carr told news outlets, I had no idea I was the winner if it wasn't for the billion dollar Powerball making news. I would have forgot. We don't check our tickets. I'll be going home after this and checking if I have any missing lotto tickets, but now let's throw it over to meetings. The Tabletop Gaming Club will be meeting in the cafeteria this Friday, April 26th during AL. Send an e-hall pass to the club's sponsor to attend. There will be a BSU meeting April 30th at 2.40 in the main cafeteria. Make sure to write an e-hall pass to Miss Purifoy. The inclusive youth group of Noble Slope Club will be meeting this Friday on April 26th. The meeting will be held at 2.40 during AL. If you have any questions or need any more information, send an email to Mrs. Schaefer. That's all we got for news. Let's toss it into sports. Welcome back to Sports Millers. We have a lot for you guys today. I think we need to just get into it. The girls lacrosse team smashed Fishers for their senior night on Tuesday. The final score was 22 to 1. Goals came from Adeline Haney, Emma Hammond, Lila Julian, Caitlin Escheson, Natalie Blackburn, Chloe Barnett, Kylie Mahler, Maya Narrington, Tori Cook, Marisha Whaler, Caitlin Seifred, and Renee Garrett. Congrats to our senior girls. The girls' track team won the Pendleton Heights Invitational on Tuesday night with 128 points. Maddie Coates placed second in the 100. Brinkley Cooper took third in the 800. Sam Rimpey placed third in the 1600. And Ansley Applegate won the girls' 3200. For field events, Maya McDonald placed a third in high jump. Maya Baker placed second in girls' long jump. And Hannah Alexander won both shot and disc. Congrats on the windmillers. The varsity boys volleyball team played Carmel High School yesterday. They fought hard but fell 2-3 to three in the end. They play again tonight at HSE. Good luck, boys. The girls softball team won against New Powell in, in a high-scoring battle. Led by home runs from Gabby Fowler and Addie Emerson, they won 18-16. Gabby Fowler went 4-5 from the plate. The Millers are now 6-7 and, and host Westfield tonight at 6. The Indiana Pacers beat the Milwaukee Bucks 125-108 to on Tuesday night. Miles Turner scored a career playoff high of 22 points with the 7 rebounds and 6 assists. 
They've tied the series up one to one. They're heading back to Indianapolis for their next game on Friday. Let's pass it over to meetings. We have a lot of sports tonight, so I would tell right into it. The baseball team has a game at six against Westfield. The softball team has a Pendleton at 5.30. The girls' tennis team has a match at 5.30 away at Franklin Central. The girls' track team has a JV meet at home at 5.30. The girls' lacrosse team has a game against Heritage Christian at 7.30. The boys' varsity volleyball team has a game at HSC at 7.30. Show out to support your Millers. And that's a wrap for today. See you tomorrow, Millers.